All right. Hello. So for those of you, hi guys, it's Roxy Allen. I'm so sorry. I've been running, running, running. And we're going to do the old Valentine. No, I know. I didn't finish this, but that's okay. So for those of you that are already pre-drawn and ready to go, awesome. For those of you who are not yet, I'm going to do kind of a circle for a nose. And here I'll do, I'll do it in Sharpie so you can see it better. And then I'm going to do a big heart underneath. Super cute. Um, like that. And then I'm going to go in and put hands right here. So whoops, there we go. And then I'm going to do a big hand right here. Like that. <laughs> so cute. And then let's do the brim of the hat. And so it's going to hit the nose, and then we're going to go up and around, and then let's do, whoops, that was a little crazy. That's okay, though. I'm going to go with it. <laughs> All right. That's hilarious. Anyway, um, what you could do is bring it in and sketch it like that. I'm not exactly sure why I did that, but I kind of like it. So I'm going to keep it. And then here I'm going to go with the beard and then woo, 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 woo. And let's do, let's do right next to the hand. Let's put in a little body. A little body for your gnome. And I'm going to take the beard down. All very easy. And then again, I'm going to start kind of around the hand here. Curve it in. And boom, 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 boom. Something like that. That's kind of fun. And I can play with it. And then I'm going to do the feet. And you can decide how you want your feet. And then I'm going to do, go up here, and I'm going to do just a little circle there. Now with the petals, super easy. We're just going to come out like this. And I do all the front ones first. They're like almonds, or you could say even an eye shape or football shape, anything will do. I think a little, a little longer than football shape maybe, but just pull them down because that's so cute. And then just go behind them and give them peaks right behind there. See, that's like a little, little triangle without the bottom. Okay, like V's. Good. You guys, that's awesome. Okay. So let's go up to the hat and let's do, yeah, one right there. And I'm going to do the same thing. So if you need to, you can do something like this, where you kind of make the middle and you base everything coming from the middle. Okay, does that make sense? Start at the middle, go out. Start at the middle, go out. Start at the middle, go out. So I'm going to go push. Woo. And again, start at the middle, go out. Feel free to take as much time with this as you need to. I've done this a lot. So but take your time. You don't need to be crazy fast and you can always pause and rewind and all that good stuff. Ooh, that's kind of fun. Maybe a little one there. And then 
We need one right there. So we're gonna go, um, yeah, let's go whoosh. And you could even give it a little more body there. I think I will. I'm gonna make it just slightly larger. There we go. And you're not doing this in Sharpie, so it won't hurt you at all. Me, I'll just have to paint a little more. But it's kind of fun just to do this. I'm just going to go, remember, we're going from the middle out. And then I'll pop one in here so it's kind of like middle out. You want them all slanted. And if you don't get it right at first, don't worry about it. Nothing like that slant's not very good. That's okay. And then we're going to do the V's. Ooh, upside down V's. Maybe we do a couple there. You can get as detailed as you want. All right. And we've got ourselves a gnome and maybe a heart because that's super fun. All right. Woo, let's do this for my brushes. I'm grabbing, I have an angled, well-loved um, half inch wash brush and it has a little angle. You do not have to use an angle at all. You can use a half inch wash brush or whatever, whatever you've got, right? That's totally fine. And then I'm using another little angled brush here, but again, um, this is a quarter inch. I know these aren't actually accurate, but that's what they're called. And then a little number one round. So, is it a number one round? Oh, it's a zero, a zero. Um, you do not have to, but you can cheat later on if you want to outline it. Um, I use these, but you can use a paint pen if you want. And I think, yeah, you can use a little paint pen if you want. But I don't think that's necessary. So use whatever you've got. I'm taking a crimson red getting a nice dollop and I'm going to start. Oh, a couple things. Make sure that if you take your brush out of the water, dab it on a paper towel. Woohoo! Uh, so that you don't get any drippies. And we're going to do just a nice base coat here. And I just get into the nooks and crannies and then move it in. And take your time, make it smooth. You can make it choppy if you wanted to. That's totally cute. Nothing wrong with that. But good, good. Okay. Whoosh. And I'm not worried if I go out of my lines. Don't worry about it if you're going out of your lines. This is just kind of a fun, whimsical painting. Da -da -da -da. I feel like this guy, hmm. I might actually do this. It's a little more. Yeah, that's what I want to do. And you'll see that when we put in a little shadow, you're not going to see that anyway. So go as long a stroke as you can, and that will give you something really, really smooth. But if it doesn't work, don't worry about it. And then here, do, do, do. Okay. And then across the brim. I'm going right across the brim. So a couple things to keep in mind is I work in layers. Not everybody does, but I work in layers. And I find that it's easiest to let stuff dry and then come back and add uh, highlights and shadows and maybe even do a second coat. So that's what I've got right now for him. And then I'm gonna come down and do the pantaloons. The pantaloons are peeking out right there. Oh yeah, that's so cute. Okay, little red pantaloons and little red shoes. Now you can do the shoes, whatever you want. And remember, you don't have to follow this scheme. You can play, you could do purples or blues. He doesn't have to be a Valentine gnome. He could be 
just a spring gnome with a heart, a big heart. Okay, he could be a St. Patty's Day gnome. A little luck of the Irish for you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, you got to entertain yourself as, you know, you just got to do that. All right, let's see how we're doing here. Wonderful. Okay. Right in here, a little look of the Irish. It's just fun. And I'm just moving that in. Use whatever brush works for you. That is working for me. I'm always tempted to go bigger, but eh, too detailed. Too detailed for that. And then the other thing I'm going to do. Am I going to do it? Yeah, I totally am. Okay. I'm going to take this red and give just a nice line. I'm going to do one little bit at a time. I'm going to take my finger and soften this line because I don't want a hard line. And you can only do that a little bit at a time. So you got to do a little, something nice and dark, and then soften it right away. Okay, and if you have a baby wipe, or you can take, hi guys, um, you can take a little paper towel and dip, but make sure that you do not have any water in there. You do not want any drippies, and you can always soften that way too. Does that make sense? Okay, and then, I'm just gonna keep going. So I'm gonna take the next side. I overshot my line, that's totally fine. Maybe I'll just do it on the same here, because why not? Okay. You can soften like this, or take a little, a little dab -a doo here, and just soften it up, soften it up. It takes a soft touch. Okay, and you can make it darker. All right, and then if that's too dark, I'm just going to gently soften that in there too. Be careful. Gentle touch is the way to go. Or big and bold, you know, whatever floats your boat. So I'm going right in there and right in there. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Just softening. You could also take a clean brush. You'd want a bigger one than this, but you could take a clean brush and do something like that too. And just soften that way. But I left myself just these three brushes because all right, so looking like a no, yeah. Okay, well, not yet, but it will. Wow, I will say my to-go kits have way too much paint. Okay, so I'm gonna come in. I need to wait for all of this to dry before I can add a coat, but I'm gonna pretend it's dry. If you are at home, do wait for it to dry. It'll look much better and you won't risk pulling paint off like I'm doing. That's okay. So I'm taking a good healthy portion. Good. Okay. And let it dry if it's if you find it's not dry yet. Just wait. Okay. Good. So you can do this now. I'm gonna go ahead and do this now. I'm gonna take the red and then I'm gonna come in and add a little black to it. That makes sense. So I'm getting kind of a Cabernet color. And don't stir the pot. Nobody likes a pot stirrer. 
but it actually it just wastes paint. It doesn't really help anyway. Um, unless you're, if you're doing a large batch, by all means, but if it's just something slight like this, and then I'm going to go right in here. Whoosh. And if it needs to be darker, that's totally fine. And then I'm just going to soften a little bit. Good. Bring it on down. <laughs> it's so fun. And if it's too dark and you're like, Meh, that's not my thing, then just wait for it to dry and you can always add back some, some bright red. I'm going to do the same on my shoes where I'm taking some of that black and I'm going to throw in a little bit of a heel. Something like that. I'll clean that up in a bit, but I think it's kind of cute. Okay. I'm going to wash off my brush. Good, good, good. Okay. I'm going to tackle the beard next, and I'm going to use the same brush. Oh, by the way, if your brush gets too fluffy, wash it off and you can dry it, but pull gently. Don't pull bristles out, but just shape it. Okay. You're going to get a nice sharp chisel on there. Sometimes you got to go and pop. Okay. Sound effects help. Oh, my paintbrush is falling apart. That's totally fine. Oh, well, what can you do? If you leave wooden paint brushes in water for too long, the wood expands and it'll start cracking the enamel on top. And then when it dries again or it gets wet again, this is what it does. Just pulls off. And yeah, so try not to use these too much anymore, but sometimes it can't be helped. Let's see. All right. Awesome. Okay. So I've got white. Do, 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 do. And you can decide. Um, you can pull a little brown into this. Um, you could pull a little black into it and just kind of decide what you like. I'm going to just line this like this. And you can make this nice and dark. I'm not going to worry about it too much. I don't, I don't think I'm going to fill this beard out. I didn't during the classes and I don't see why I wouldn't need to. Um, but I'm going to make a little bit, just find a color that you like. If you want to go straight gray, just black and white, you could even add a little, um, well, you could, oh, that's, oh, that's very, whoa, very black. That's fine. Um, just pull if it's too dark, just pull it back, pull it back till you find something that works for you. Maybe you do, do, do. I'm going to pull it down to the beard there. I think that's kind of fun. And sure, I got a little red in there. No problem. Nothing on a day like today. I'm grabbing some white, throwing that back in there. And you can cover it all. I mean, it just depends on how detailed you want to get. I have friends that are like, you know, they've got to work on every little thing and that's okay. You know, just know, know what you enjoy. But remember, it's your job to find out what you love, right? Because everyone really is different. And if it stresses you out to do a whole bunch of things, well, is it because you want to do them or because you think you have to? Would you, you know, this is art. It's one of those times where you get to really do what you like doing. You know what? I'm going to pop a few of these in here because I think that's pretty cute. 
It's like that little, oh yeah, that's the ticket. Ah, so cute. Okay. And then I'm going to take that same color and I'm just going to bring it down like this. I'm covering up my lines and that's fine. And then over here, same, same. Woo. Now on this one, I don't want it to go on top. So I'm just going to do that. That might be a touch extra white. Okay. Yeah. And just do as much as you want or as little as you want, whatever floats your boat. I think that's just really fun. Okay. Moving on down. <clears throat> so. Up, 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 up. And I'm washing off my brush again. Washing off my brush. Okay. Now I'm going to come on in. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm going to cover this up. Oh, okay. That's what that is. All right. I'm going to cover that up with pink. Coming in. Do, 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 do. It's coming. Do, do, do. And just smooth line. Get enough paint that you can go all the way down and all the way up, okay? All the way down, all the way up. And then get it in there, okay? And then all the way down, all the way up. And have a light touch. Have a light touch. Go over the red, that's totally fine. Oh, look at you. And if you want, you can grab some pink, and pull it in a little. And I kind of soften with a clean finger, make sure it's clean. But only if you want. I'm going to soften a little bit in there. That got a little crazy, but that's okay. That's all right. I soften down here. See how you like it. And then I'm going to go big on one. Oops, I did a thing. That's fine. All right. And then that's kind of fun. It's a little larger than my other, but that's okay. So that's our heart. Now, if you want, let that dry. Come back and do another coat. You sure can. Okay, okay. Now I'm going peach. Or you could do pink. If you want to darken the skin tone, start with your peach. Pull in a little bit of that burnt sienna. And you can pull in a lot more or a little. And what I do is come on in on the bottom. You can also, if the peach is too much, add a little white. Beautiful. And then some peach. And then I'm going to pop in a little white for a fun little highlight. And you can soften that. If you want to. <laughs> I don't know. There's something so satisfying about doing a nose. For this one, I just used uh, peach and white, highlighted with white, and then I threw a little of the peach and brown underneath when it was dry. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to come in, hit these guys. I'll pull in a little bit of this beautiful burnt sienna. And then I will highlight when that's done. A little more brown on that guy. 
And then this, I feel like it just needs. And then, whoops, that's a little too much, right? That's okay. Let's go over it. And see what you've got. That's too much, darling, too much. That's fine. We just want a little highlight. Something like that. You might have to go over this one when All right, so we've done some of that. Now, if you want, you can, uh, well, we'll do that at the end. I'm going to start in the middle here, and I'm going to give you three, <clears throat> three different options. The first one is always a little crazy. I'm going to take white. I'm going to use a little yellow ochre, and I'm going to do... background just like that and by the way you can leave it just like that and it's super cute um so you can leave it solid but you could also do a bit of let's see if i can get it to work today bit of a leopard print so i'm going to take my small brush uh it's not the pointy one but and i'm going to Pull in a little of that. Now, what I do is I wash this off. Always dab it on your paper towel. And then I'm going to soften. I'm going to soften that a little. And I've got to wash it off sometimes a couple times. But I'm going to soften just a little bit. And then I'm going to take this brown and add... some little funky, it looks like a chocolate chip cookie right now. And then I'm gonna take the pointy guy. Going in with a little black. And I'm going to attempt a little leopard, a little leopard print in here. Is that leopard? Hmm, I should really know my animals better. So, I don't know if you can see that. It still looks like a chocolate chip cookie to me, but this is what we're doing. And if you don't want to do that, I've got other options for you. You see that okay? It's kind of fun. Um, See if you can see that. So you could do something like that, which is <laughs> totally crazy, but really fun. And I'm going to add a black edge around this. I'm just taking my little brush and adding a black, oh, you can't even see that. I'm adding a black edge. Does that make sense? So that's one way. And these could be smaller, they could even be larger, okay? Now the other way is just what we did before, which I, I love. Okay, so that's, that's one way. The other thing we can do is dots. So for this one, I would actually take um, the black and fill it in. And then you're going to let this dry, okay? Doesn't have to be perfect. 
well, nothing I do has to be perfect because I've decided it doesn't because <laughs> I said so. Let's see, I think I'm going to give a little. Okay. So the back of your brush, not the brush, although you can use that, but the back of your brush is super fun. So I'm going to actually take a larger brush because that back will be larger and take that. Okay. Now you want yours dry, ideally. So actually I'm gonna let that dry for just a second and I'll add a little something over here. Maybe I add the tiniest hint of green or orange. Oh, orange might actually, I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind. You can do whatever you want, but I'm, you can add green, but I'm going orange. And that's fine. You got baby wipes, use them. Okay, so moving that in. So I'm gonna go a little of this and a little of this. Am I doing that? Is that kind of a fun color? Let's see. It's like I don't actually have the colors mixed. I do like that. Oh, there we go. That's what I need is a little more of that. Okay. So yeah, no. Yep. That's the ticket I'm talking about. Ooh. Okay. And so immediately I'm going to wipe off my brush <clears throat> and you can leave a hard line, but for me, I'm going to soften. You can soften with your finger. But that, yeah, that makes me happy. Okay. And then over there, over there, over there, send the word over there. I'm going to take a little blue and I'm just going to dab. And you can go in a random pattern or you can go something a little more organized. Um, I don't know, I'm just gonna do this. And you can go crazy with this. And then I'm gonna start adding other colors into here. So I'm gonna take the yellow ochre and I'll dab it. And maybe, you know, maybe in the end I mess this up and I don't want it so it's not uniform by any means, but That's kind of fun. So let me hold it up. It's kind of fun. And maybe even, I'm, I might even come in with a little peach. Um, you could do white, you could mix some colors, green and blue and get a teal. something like that. Whoops. Sorry, guys. I don't know why I'm having trouble keeping it in the shop today. And you could even come back in like I lost a lot of my black. So I'm just going to come back in and do that. All right. I'm super happy with all three of them. Like, I really like them. So good luck. I have no idea what you're going to choose. Um, I'm going to let these dry for a moment. I'm going to put a little highlight on there. So my brush is uh, clean. It's clean. It's dabbed on a paper towel. I'm going to pull white. And I'm not going to use that pink. I'm going to pull white into this one. Okay. And then I'm like, I actually want to play with this shape a little bit because it's a little weird. So I'm going to pull it in and give myself yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. So I'm going to go and do a thicker line like that. 
I think that's really cute. And then pull in, and you can always grab a little red and throw it in there. You know, you don't have to be stuck with a super harsh line. But I kind of do like it. Like it's not, I don't know, I think that's kind of fun. And then let's take that same, same, same and throw it right in there. Oh, so cute and it's super easy. And if you want um, a brighter highlight, just do a brighter one, you know, and you can ever so gently fix that if you want, but that pretty much makes me happy. I am gonna come and do a slight little like that. <laughs> It's so cute. Um, and I'm also going to do, do I want a little, I do kind of want a little heart. So, that's what I'm gonna do. Good, good. And you could even, you know, you could do a little, filigree type stuff or dotting. You know, this is your baby. So do what you enjoy. Hmm. Mine is too wet to touch, so. Oops, that one wasn't so pretty, but that's okay. Really good. And then I'm going to give a little brightness to that right there. All right. I'm going to go into the beard. <clears throat> now, for me, yeah, quite well, you could use this little guy. Whoop. Sorry, guys. Can you see it? Can you? There we go. Holy moly. Are you getting dizzy yet? There we go. Um, and I'm gonna take a little black and I'm just gonna go in. Now, don't worry about this being perfect and see how fast I'm going. Don't, you know, don't tie yourself down to what you think have to be little perfect strokes, okay? This is playful, it's whimsy, it's fun. I'm gonna pull some right into there. You bet, you bet, just throw, stagger them so they don't look, you know, impeded by. Mm, kind of bristly. Oh boy. And just go light with it. So cute. Well, I think it's cute. Um, there we go. Okay. Um, and if you want, you can give a little outline down here too. I mean, why not? And we can sharpen up the heart or whatever we want to do, but I'm not going to do that quite yet. Um, I am going to go into the hands and just tighten those up. This is, if this is dry, you can lean on it, but if it's not, just be careful. Yeah. 
Hokely dokely, I'm going to outline my heart. Okay. Good. You can outline the nose if you want, all that good stuff, but I think it's time to start working on some petals. All right. <clears throat> So, I'm washing off my brush again, washing off my brush. Now, you have to decide how bold you want, um, you want your petals. So, this is all completely outlined. This is kind of the start of it. We're just going to play. Okay, so what I like to do is I take pink. I don't, for me, I'm not crazy about the red and white with that pink. I like this nice bright pink and then I can add white to it. But I'm going to come in and I want to do the tops of these things and then I soften. So make sure you have one finger <laughs> or a brush that's clean. And I'm going to pull this down and every couple I'm going to soften. Okay. I don't want a hard line, but you can, uh, you know, if that's your style, do it. But for me, that's not my style. I mean, right now, <laughs> right now, this very minute. Um, and you can pull it all the way down. That's totally fine. So I'm going to continue this way. Okay. And I'm not worried about staying in the lines. I don't see the point. Not with this kind of thing. Okay. Um, if you're using an angled brush, make sure that your stroke is led by the shorter end, okay? And the tail, the taller part is the tail, and it goes backwards. So it's the caboose, if you will. So it goes at the end of the train, okay? So I've got my brush like this and the top, if I'm going down, the top of my brush should be that tail, okay? So if I'm going like this and pushing down, the tall part should be at the end. I hope that makes sense. And I'm just gonna do this, da da da. And you can add white to this just to give it a little variety. It actually looks really good when you do it too. Okay, moving that on in. That is a nice thing about having the black lines. Like for me in this painting, I don't really have to cover them up. No need. You can. You don't have to. So again, I'm going down so the top of my brush is top of my brush there. Yep, that's so cute. Okay, good, good, good. Good, good. Okay, and then. Now you could, if you wanted to make these back ones darker, you could totally, you know, go back and make it darker. But I'm also gonna add red towards the middle, so that's kind of fun. Okay, let's see. There, good. Okay. And take your time. You don't have to go crazy fast like that. Um, Good, and I'm going to get in the nooks and the crannies in there. I feel like that is not well loved. Okay. Good. 
Okay, so some of those are nice and bright and some aren't as much. Okay, so now I'm gonna take that pink and I'm gonna add a little red to it. I don't wanna go full red, you can, but I'm not gonna. But I'm gonna pop in this and then I soften. Okay, so I pop in this and then I'm gonna soften. Pop in, soften. And I'm gonna do individual petals. You don't have to do that. It's really fun. And I really want to get the ones in the back. I want that most of all. Oh, that's fun. That's kind of a watercolory effect. It's really cool. Okay. And then right in the crannies. Woo! That's just fun. Okay. Good. And then up here, again, I'm taking the pink and some red. And I'm gonna do, eh, I can do a kind of a section at a time. Soften that up. And again, you can kind of even do this, but, but you know, be really careful because, you know, once it dries, you it's really hard to blend. You gotta, you gotta color match at that point and go thick if you wanna to try to give a blendy, blendy look in there. Yeah, and you could even go behind with this darker color. That's kind of fun. Okay, good, I'm gonna pull that in there. Awesome, good, good, good. Okay, and now we've got this little guy. Pulling that in, a little shimmy. There's a little nugget right there I gotta get. Oh, went right into his hair, that's okay. And then, something like that, and then soften. And you can go individual, you know, and it's good to do so. And I'm gonna add a little more, I want a little redder in there. I may have to wait for it to dry, just a hint. Okay, so I really like it. Um, you can do a little finishing touches. I'm going to do a little boop. And then um, <clears throat> I'm going to grab, I'm going to put in a few more black lines. So I am dabbing and then I'm pulling out because I want this nice and chiseled now. So don't dip because you're popping the bristles open. Chisel it. Okay. Woo! Loaded. Nice. Beautiful. And I'm like, I want the heart to be a little more. Yep. That's what I want. And remember, if you're using the angled brush, and you're pulling down the tall part is up on top, okay? Now, if you're going up, I'm going to go up here. The tall part is going to be down. So wherever you are, lead with the short end, okay? Lead with the short end. It's just like if you're taking the pictures, you put all those short people in the front. There we go. <laughs> Super cute. If you want sky, if you want sky, this is my suggestion. Take 
um, a little bit of a paper towel, okay? And I'm gonna pop it in my water. And I'm gonna, now make sure it is not drippy. Whoa, that is way too much. You can use a baby wipe too. Make sure this is dry. And pop in a little. Now, if you like it nice and clean, there's no reason you have to do this, right? You don't have to tap in any kind of sky whatsoever. Oh, you guys can't see that. Let me move it. Sorry. Okay. There's no reason you have to actually I kind of like this. Oh, that's kind of fun. Okay. Oh, you know what? I like that. I'm keeping it. So otherwise with this guy, what I did is I took a baby wipe and I went across. Actually, I went a little bit of an angle and just moved a bunch of that color in. And I did the same thing. I took a baby wipe and smushed it. Baby wipes work the best for me. Um, I And then, ooh, with if you want a little more purple, take a little of your blue and a smidgen of pink. Can you see that? And start moving it on that canvas. And it's going to turn a really fun purple. And it'll be a purple that works so well with the rest of your painting because it's the colors you used with the rest of the painting. Okay, but for this, I think this is what I'm doing. I'm going, yeah, that's totally what I'm doing. I like it. And then just moving it in. It gets a little, oh my gosh. It's so fun just playing around. You know, don't take it too seriously because the more you love it, the faster you will grow. And I can't emphasize that enough. I've taught about 2,500 people in classroom, you know, in, in uh, kind of paint and sip settings and then some fine art lessons. And I am telling you that it doesn't matter in the long run how much natural talent you have if you're not thankful for it and if you don't enjoy it you know, or if you're going to nitpick yourself to death, what fun is that? You know, stare in the direction you want to go. Okay. Stare in the, that direction. Because if you stare at things or, you know, get stuck on things you don't like, if you're a perfectionist, well, I mean, that's not helpful to you. That's something you got to sort of get over. Because if you stare in the direction of the things you like, find an accomplishment that you like, you know, even if it's just a certain stroke, I tell my clients, it's like, oh, just, do you like this? Is that fun? Do you like this? Whatever it is, do what you love and you will grow because you're focused on the things you want to create. If you're focused on the mistakes and the things you don't like, you're going to have a hard time not continuing to do those things. So find one thing that you love and you could do all day and do that. And uh, it's just art. This is just, you know, it's just art. It's really just training for the rest of the world, I think, because it's a little, you know, it's transcendent and it's kind of speaks to everyone in different ways. It's a little weird. I don't like to get too, you know, mumbo jumbo-y, but, but this is not where you need to stake a whole lot of stress and energy on, right? This is just time for you to have some fun. Tap it in. Or, you know, do a nice wash, whatever you want to do. Um, with the other one, I just went straight across. Just gave them a nice, gentle ground. Whoa, everything's fine. Don't forget to get the bottom of your painting like I usually do. And this is just a green. This is actually, um, my other colors aren't always, but um, I don't use too many economy paints. Uh, I at least use studio grade usually, but it's not necessary, you know, and for stuff like this, I mean, just go for it. Just have fun. So, all right, sign away. And see if I can, yep, is there anything 
that's just kind of fun. Yeah. I mean, you can keep going to town with this, right? But I love it. And just, just be joyful and have some fun. Because there are plenty of other things to stress out with in life. This is not one of them. All right, you guys. Thank you so much. And I will try to get back. I know I haven't been doing as many, but I've just been so busy. It's been really crazy around here. But I love doing it. All right. So, I think that's fun. All right, my friends. Have a good one. Show me pictures. I want to see what you do. Talk to you soon. Bye.